All right, guys, day one. Feeling good. Mile point zero one. Day one, one summit down, first peak. first peak, four and a half miles or so in. The views are starting to get pretty incredible. I think a chill session is in order. All right, we're about to see if we'll be able to get down this gully or not. You can judge by Pat's reaction when he sees it. Whoa, that's pretty cool down there. Dang. So we abandoned the high route because of the weather. Came down to the low route, found this nice, little lake all to ourselves. Just came out of some gnarly shit, but we're on the trail. Day two, Fifner Traverse. Got uh, how many miles do you think today, Pat? Maybe uh, 19. 19, oof. A lot of it off trail. That's just a guess. But uh, 
We all feel well rested. Woody's off pooping in the woods somewhere. Yeah, we got a lot of passes. How much vertical do you think, Pat? Uh, maybe like 8,000, 8,000 some. 8,000 feet of vertical. We're trying to get to the bottom of Thunderbolt Creek. Yeah, so we'll see how, see how we make. We're probably gonna hit some rain again today and that'll probably slow us down. Explosion of stuff here, drying everything out. So we're uh, about seven miles in for the day, so about 22 miles in for the whole trip out of 75 or so. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, I feel like those storm clouds aren't gonna bother us. No, they don't. We got ourselves a rock shelter to uh, take shelter from some rain coming up. We're a little concerned about the rock shelter because uh, there's a bit of a crack running through right there. And uh, if it were to cleave in two, we would all be pinned and trapped in here. Miles would probably be squashed. <laughs> Woody, I think we smushed. Pat's gonna hold it up. <laughs> but uh, so far we've made it 9.3 miles today. Not too shabby so far. It's only uh, two o'clock. Hunkered down. A nice dry cave. Some pretty amazing surroundings. up this little saddle here and hoping that the weather holds for long enough to get up and over. On a steep hike up a pass. Pat's up ahead. He says the weather looks good. And Pat says it looks good. And it looks good. If I say it looks good, I probably need a second opinion. But hiking through this, some of the most incredible mountains I've ever seen. And I've hiked a lot in the Indian peaks and the Rocky Mountains. That cloud looks scary, but it's not coming our way. Don't worry, viewer. After a series of false saddles, Made it to the true saddle above Paradise um, Valley. Pat is down there somewhere. Some reason he kept on going. Here come Miles and Woody. And in the distance, we came from way the hell over there, I guess. This is what uh, the lower ends of the passes look like. It's actually a pretty good spot. 
<laughs> this is this is a great this is actually a great trail right now as far as they go but yeah they get real steep and thick and choked with deadfall Paradise Valley, the most secluded part of Rocky Mountain National Park. leaving Paradise Valley, it was very, very pretty. And we are entering Hell's Canyon. All right, day three, starting out mile 31. We gotta go up this pass right here. It's about a thousand feet, it looks pretty steep and rocky and scree filled. But we got fresh legs, so here we go. This is really fucking steep, good footing, but very steep. Hi, Teague. Hey, Wood. Are we halfway? I think we're more than halfway, bro. Up the hill? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that was steep. My anxiety needle twitched a little bit. Was, on some uh, of the, the steepness? Yeah, the steepest part. Yeah, I had one part where I, like my weight shifted backwards. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh this shot's for the ladies.
route finding involved. It's laundry. It's laundry. It's a shirt. Have a pie you pass. I was at the limit of everybody's uh, danger meter, but we stayed below it. And we all made it up. Feeling good. We're heading is uh, over here somewhere. Up that snowfield, maybe. Heading down at a Pawnee Basin from Paiute Pass. Uh, Paiute Pass had mixed reviews. I think the beauty was 10 for 10, but uh, the risk factor maybe needs to be weighted in. Um, now heading over to Crater Lake to check out the Northeast Gully, but uh, we might just have to camp at the bottom of it illegally. <laughs> <laughs> Next destination, the Northeast Gully. Lone Eagle Peak. So we're up at Crater Lake, we're debating what to do because it's all designated camping here and we don't have a reservation. Um, we think it's a little too late to try to go up and over uh, there, there. Um, so we might uh, maybe go see if there's a bench to camp on up here, and then in the morning we can shoot up and over. Um, but uh, pretty spectacular. Found our campsite up at 11:3. Uh, Location undisclosed, but views quite nice. And we got the moon. I think the moon already set. And now morning of day four, about 47 miles in. Two more days to go, hiking up the northeast gully to start to head over to Arapaho Pass.
top of the northeast gully. Bars of service. So oh, look what's forward. look what's become of us. <laughs> Pat's taking care of business. Day six or day four, gone 56 miles so far. Heading to the Continental Divide, maybe for the last time, all the way to the finish. Today's the first day we've really had serious uh, talks of the group taking different routes. Some preferring steep direct routes, others preferring with backy trails with more miles. <clears throat> so far we're still off the end. Still 20 some odd miles to the finish. smokes from some Idaho fires blowing in but it's making for some pretty light down in Fraser and Winter Park. up on mile 20 of the day, mile 67 of the traverse, in the distance over there is Bertha Pass. We're going to drop down to King Lake to sleep and then tomorrow should be a straightforward day. Morning of day five, last day, we're at 67 miles in. <clears throat> have uh, five 13,000 foot peaks to do and then we're done ending somewhere out that way uh, Pat and Woody are feeling a little rough but if they've made it this far I think they've made it and then uh, it'll be burger and beer time approaching James Peak first 13er of the day. So Pat is uh, feeling the effects of day in day at altitude and hanging on by a thread, but he's deep panted again. So I think we have him at least until the top of James Peak. On top of James Peak, out in the distance somewhere is Long's Peak, which when we started 
looked like it was in the distance, but from the other side. And here's Woody. Made it to the top of James Peak, the highest point of the whole thing. Miles and I have split off. We're gonna see how much of the actual traverse we can do before the weather rolls in. We are only gonna keep going if we still have a safe bailout point, but we can still go for another couple hours until we get to that point. Top of Bancroft, still going. Papa Perry's! Final descent, where's the pass? One final quad burn. Oh man, hurting a little. Wow. Made it to where's the pass. Rather anticlimactic end to an epic hike. But we did it. And reunited with Pat and Woody. Hi Pat, hi Tiki. Hey Woody. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Big heavy short. Yeah. We, Miles and I charged it hard. 